Hi everybody, welcome back, Sip City. Oh man, look at this traffic, Jesus Christ. It's because now there's 408 people living in Sip City, uh, and it's a bit of a problem because they're all trying to get out of this high density road onto the high density avenue uh, all at the same time. They've all decided that at the early hour of 7 a.m., they've all decided to go to work at the same time and it's just pandemonium out here um but that's okay so we're still doing well we got the uh oil is up and running from last time uh, and making us a lot of money look at that we got 27 grand in the bank we're making 758 an hour which is very good got a bit of demand for industrial a little bit of commercial and some residential too so let's get plopping <laughs> uh that doesn't mean to start just shitting everywhere. That it just means that I'm gonna actually start plopping down some um, <laughs> some zones. Oh god, yeah. So um, we're gonna need a little bit of residential. Uh, we could probably do with getting another square actually of residential back here. So let's go for some more low density streets and. Look, we're just going to make it, like, totally uneven. Uh, and then we can maybe, like, round it off at the top or whatever. It's quite nice doing it in squares, actually. Sometimes I think, like, I shouldn't do it in squares. But other times I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going to do it in squares. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look, it doesn't look terrible. Look, everything, like, builds nicely. There's the Golden Girls house from last time. I wonder if Blanche is in there, like, picking on Rose. Or maybe Dorothy is, like, just being sassy to her mom or whatever. Estelle Getty, you know, stop her, my mum will shoot. Uh, apparently she was the youngest golden girl. Uh, she looked ancient compared to the rest of them. The other ones were um, were very vibrant and, and attractive and young looking. Except for the old grandma who was, um, who was pretty old. But turns out, in a cruel twist of fate, she was the youngest one uh, out of all of the golden girls. So what do you say to that? Not much, I bet. I, I don't even know if I think much of that, but uh, I just thought I'd let you know anyway. That's that's a that's a true fact. It's a real fact. Look it up. I dare you. Um, okay, so a bit of residential just went down. Uh, the demand still still the same. Look, we're we're on the increase. Oh, well we were. Oh, look at this. We've got our first slight slight demand for um, the rich. We need we need a rich person. One rich person. One mansion would do it, would probably satisfy that. Uh, it might just be for the manager's job of the oil well or something like that. Maybe maybe we just need one one rich guy to step in and just be like in charge of the trade depot or something like that. Who knows? But uh, if the demand is there, that means that we can start getting even nicer houses. I mean, come on, these houses are pretty nice here, but um, I wouldn't mind having a rich person, a super nice house, big mansion or something, and uh, eventually we'll be able to make the mayor's mansion too. Oh god, yeah. That's gonna be fantastic. Okay, let's plop down some more uh, residential then. Let's just do one here, like this, there we go. Just as easy as that. By the way, to uh, to fill the squares here, you just hold control. I'm just holding control when I plop down the... Um, the, uh, the zone and it just fills the inside of the square or any shape that you can make that sort of closes off at both ends should be fine oh maybe we can do like a curved road here this would be nice actually do let me just check the data map here and make sure that okay there's a bit of oil but I don't think we were gonna do much there and we can just tear down this neighborhood if we want to get at this oil once this stuff starts to deplete so that should be fine that should be absolutely fine um, Let's go for it then. Let's go for it. We're going to get a low density street here. We're going to turn on arced roads and we're going to start it here. It didn't do much of an arc. It's got to be said. Look at look at this. That's too small. I want it to come out a bit. I want it out. Out. How do I make it come out? <laughs> Yelling at my screen isn't working. I want to make it come out further. Maybe I have to like do Maybe I have to do like a a circle. How do I do like a half circle? I would love to do a half circle right now. How do I do this? Okay, let's see. Maybe I gotta do it this way. No, look, it's just trying to like tear down the whole neighborhood. This stupid circle. God. All right, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna we're gonna get it eventually. It it might take a little while, but we. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. How did I just do that? Did I have to like draw it with my mouse? Oh, who cares? It's down now. Oh, look at that. Looks so cool. That looks so cool. Okay. We're going to fill this sucker up with houses now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, 
we need to think about getting a school too. And actually, we can totally afford one now. Look at this. We've got 40 grand in the bank. We're making a ton of money. God, we're just out of control here. We're making too much money. Uh, like an alarming amount of money. Um, which is always a good thing, though. You want to you be, like, well ahead in this game. Um, so let's do it. Let's make a grade school. 16 grand to plop down. It's going to serve 150 kids. Uh, every single day at a cost of 400 bucks an hour. We can we can totally afford this uh, So it's not a problem. We're gonna put it right here right in the middle of suburbia right close to all these houses uh, So that they can benefit from the land value going up because this is a sought-after location Everybody wants to live close to a school. I mean it's everybody's dream uh that has kids to live across the street from a school because then you don't have to worry about the bus and like all this other shit So here we go. Bam Grade school, initialize. Look at how happy these people are, my god. So good. Parents plead with Mayor Sips to support education. A university could attract students from the whole region. Well, joke's on them. We're the only city in the whole region, so there we go. Um, school bus stops. We gotta place these. We gotta get the coverage zone uh, high for the school so that uh, as many kids in Sip City can enroll as possible. So we're gonna start plopping these down. School bus every day will make its rounds and pick up all of these little bastards, take them to school, show them the ways of the world, uh, and and so forth. And, and it's good. Education is very good, especially in Sim City. You want everybody to be educated so that you can start making cool stuff like TVs and processors. And so it's just like in real life. You go to school, you learn how to make TVs and processors, you work at a high tech job, and it's awesome. Everybody has a really good time. Uh, just like in SimCity, everybody's gonna have a really good time going to school. Oh shit, look, this is like on a little bit of an incline. And look, actually, there's like a cliff around the school now. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty cool. God, I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, look at these. The land value has not increased. For the areas around the school though, it's got to be said, look, still quite a few people living in trailers and like little shanty houses. Look at this. It's like for that, that's exactly like that starter tutorial house, like a bunk house from the, uh, from the Sims 3. I don't know if you remember which one I'm talking about. I think the layout's slightly different, but it looks, it looks almost identical. It's pretty uncanny actually. Um, it's probably something to do with the fact that uh, it's it's by the same company, The Sims and, and SimCity. Maybe it, they even got the same artists in to do all this. It does look very, very similar. Um, okay, let's uh, let's see. How are we doing? Nobody is going to school yet. Uh, that's probably because uh, the bus hasn't even left the uh, the bay yet. What's going on with this bus? What what is what is actually going on with this bus? Oh, it's, I think it's just waiting. Oh. My bad. I didn't realize it was 9 o'clock at night. That's probably why the school bus isn't working. Uh, it's night school. Yeah, we, we do things differently in Sip City. God, this traffic. I just realized that, like, these people must just be absolute furious. And that's the problem. When you have, like, a big grid layout like this with lots of intersections and stuff, the traffic just gets clogged up so quickly it's nuts. Okay, so we're still doing good. We still got 878 bucks an hour coming in, and we're up to, wow, now 34,260. We got money to burn. Um, and what, what what better way to burn it than by um, ensuring that we're making even more money? Uh, that's always a good thing. So let's plop two of these down, if we can. Did I place that? Oh, I didn't. Ah, oh, shit. That makes me so angry. Can you, can you sense the... The sheer rage in my voice at the moment. I bet you can. Whoa, look at that. 192.29k barrels. That's fantastic. Uh, we've got enough for another one. Should we do it? I mean, it's a lot of oil. I don't want I don't want to overwhelm you guys too quickly. Because I know I know this is pretty intense, all this oil. Uh, if you think you can handle it, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it down. I think you guys can I think you guys are ready. There you go. It's going down. It's down. Three of those pump jacks. Fantastic. How are we doing? 4,800 barrels a day. My God. Oh, my God. The guy from Dallas literally just turning in his grave right now. Because he's like, oh, Sips got the best of me. He knew how to do it. He knew how to make more money off oil than I ever did in my long life. Fucking Dallas guy. Don't even know his name. What's his name? Dallas guy. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, so we're waiting. We're now waiting for the school to open to see um, who's enrolled and who's going to go. Uh, so far, we have a potential of 256 
kids that can go to school out of our population 961 uh, but we only have desks for 150 of them so some people are just going to be missing out big time on school which isn't the best but uh, unfortunately it's just the way things go sometimes let's get some more commercial in here there's a little bit demand i'm not sure what level of commercial is in demand ah it's just low so that's fine i don't think there's anything around here oh 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 look look oh Oh, I'm very tempted. I'm very, very tempted. I better not, though. We don't want Sip City to just, like, go down the shitter straight away. Not not at this early stage in its development. It's too early. It's too soon. What's this guy? Oh, it's this guy again! It's Pipe Guy. Look, he's always hiding behind that pipe. Why is he so mysterious? What's he up to? Alright. Ask later. Because we just did a whole bunch of that. God damn it, Pipe Guy. Just leave me alone. Let me get on with my job. I'm the mayor of this damn city. I don't have time to just be spending all day and all night at the oil well. It's 2.30 in the morning. Go home and get some sleep. Where do you even live so that I can follow you and spy on you? I bet you he lives... I was going to say he lives in, like, one of these, but he's too deviant. I, I'm going to say he lives in... Oh, this one. Here it is. I'm zooming right in on it. There it is. Look. He's got two cars. They probably both don't even work. He's probably just got them like in his driveway because he's working on them to make them soup them up one day. Oh, oh, he does have air conditioning on his trailer though. It's got to be said, not bad. Because I don't think a lot of people get air conditioning for their trailers. Because he just opened the window. I mean, it's not big. It's not. It's not a big area to ventilate. That's for sure. Um, anyway, we'll come back to Pipe Guy eventually and find out what his beef is. I I'm sure that he's some sort of i don't know no no good son of a son of a you know what um oil well my god 5525 barrels now uh look at it it's all accumulating in here we're going to need more delivery trucks soon how are we doing over at the trade depot there's nothing there we should be doing a delivery here will we have enough oil stored up by the time the delivery truck comes back probably it seems to be increasing very quickly. That's good, though. I mean, every time we sell that, we get 4500 bucks. That's why we're making so much money so quickly. Um, our monthly hasn't gone up much, but that's because we haven't put down any more zones in a little while. A bit of commercial. Uh, there's a bit of a demand for industrial again now, which we can, we can probably line this with industrial. There we go. There's a lot of industrial. Now everybody's going to be happy. I wonder if any of these are ready to go to, like, medium density soon. No, they're not quite there. Look, about halfway through. I, I'm not too sure what determines this. I think it's just like... From what I can tell now, I think it's just a matter of time before this grows. As long as they're happy, the density meter will, will keep going up. Uh, so, like, I mean, these people are very happy. They love new city buildings, and they're great places to shop. Plus, they're educated. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Um, but in terms of raising the density while well, medium density means that most of these little houses which actually look quite nice now this neighborhood looks very nice i don't know about you guys i think this looks pretty good um will turn into like townhouses like apartment blocks little condos and apartment blocks they don't always look amazing they they don't look they don't look the best uh, especially when they're all clumped up together and stuff but they can pack in lots of residents and lots of residents means lots of taxpayers so it means lots of extra money for us which is great that's what we want we're, we're about to make a lot of money though in a minute though because look at all this industry that's just gone up some of these might be ready to go to uh to medium density let's see yeah look at this this is actually closed tasty chemical co is closed but uh, these guys seem to be ready to make the jump to medium density. Certainly that one. Uh, this one. Upgrade roads to increase density. Yeah, there we go. So if we upgrade these roads now to medium density, uh, we should get some medium density factories, which is very good. So here we go. We're going to upgrade these roads to medium density just by doing this. I just clicked on this little thing here, the road upgrade tool. Uh, and I'm upgrading all of these to medium density, everything around here. And they should have some room to now expand it's gonna take a little oh there we go look at the size of this mother holy shit it's gonna be a big one it's gonna lots lots of jobs it's gonna create lots of jobs which is very nice that's what we want we want tons of jobs it's gonna be great um school's probably complaining because yeah we're at maximum capacity we've got money to expand the school the size of the classroom oh shit we didn't put the sign up for the grade school how are people gonna know it's a school 
Well, now they're going to know because I just put the sign up, but it, well, it's been a little while. Okay, so we're going to add a classroom, which gives us extra capacity for 200 more kids, uh, and that should be fine. We're going to put it right here. Boom. Done. Just like that. All done. Ten grand for that. Well worth it, though, and we, ha we have the money to support it, and look at that. We're still making money every hour as well. Quite a bit. Oh, look, there goes the flag. Oh, look, it's a shiny apple. Look at all these kids bullying each other, going through the throes of pre-adolescence. Look at this. Learning the ropes in the schoolyard. Some of them will no doubt be learning how to like sell crack and stuff, depending on what part of the neighborhood they live in at, at such an early age. It's a, it's a great shame, but unfortunately it is the way of the world. That is how things turn out. Look at the little details too. Look at all the little different colors like in the classrooms and stuff. It's really nice. We've only got one uh, bus at the moment, uh, and that bus is probably fairly busy every morning uh, trying to collect these kids uh, from all over the goddamn city. It's just the way it goes, unfortunately. Um, it's a busy job. It's not for everybody. If you ever want to become a school bus driver, think very carefully, because kids can be very noisy. If you don't like to sit on a bus with noisy kids, maybe that's not the best job for you. I'm just saying. I mean, I've thought about it. I thought that would be a pretty sweet job. I thought, you know, just sit on the bus, drive the same route every day, listen to my Walkman or whatever. But you can't do that because sometimes the kids like want to ask you questions like how does the bus work? How long have you been a bus driver for? Uh, what's your favorite kind of bus and stuff like that? And if you're wearing your Walkman, and you're listening to like some fresh tunes. You're not going to be able to hear these important questions and these kids. They're not going to learn shit. Uh, unless they're able to talk to you. So you got to think very carefully before you become a school bus driver. Look at that. A whole bunch of them just got dropped off. We got some more money. Let's uh, let's get another school bus lot. Oh, look at this. We're expanding this. Oh, look. We're going to put it on the outside there. We're going to get all the kids. My God. This bus better not stay parked up either. I'm going to be so mad if it does. Come on, kids. Come on, bus. Okay. So 238 kids out of the possible 350 for the public school the public primary school very good very good going um oh you'll notice that my game is like freezing a little bit i'm not sure why it's doing that i'll need to find out I, it's i don't think it's to do with my computer i think it's possibly because i'm rendering something at the moment uh so in future i won't do that so uh, apologies for the little pauses um, I don't want to get rid of this footage because I can't get it back because this game automatically saves itself back to the servers like a million times a minute. Uh, so I don't even know if there's a way of rolling back unless I just like I kill the connection to the road or whatever and then it'll take me back to like the start of my session maybe. See? Big pause there. Sorry about that. Uh, it might not go on for much longer. But anyway, I'll stop talking about it. Maybe you guys won't notice it. 24,000 bucks. We're making a thousand bucks an hour. We got more money now. We could possibly actually add, look at how many barrels a day we're getting out of this mother. Holy shit. Oh, we've got a whole bunch stored up too. We might need to think about getting another delivery truck. I think that's a good idea actually. Let's do it. Let's get a delivery truck bay here for 10,000 bucks. Man, we still got so much money. We're doing very well. The city's going very well. Look, our first medium uh, density industry, look at it. It's an industrial factory. I wonder if it's making dirt. Probably not. I don't think there's much money to be made in dirt realistically uh, in the real world, but uh, I live in hope anyway. Okay, lots of demand for res residential now. Of Oh wow, look at this. We need even more rich people and we could do with actually putting some parks down. We we'll probably need some sports parks. What do you guys think about sports parks? We're like a basketball court. Should we get a basketball court? What, what did I just do there? Oh, this is the basic stuff. Okay, basic stuff. Um, basketball court. Here we go. This is this is it. This is we're gonna put it right by the school too, uh, so that when kids are done at school, they can race over here. Is that a good? Do you think that's a good spot right by the school? I think so. Is that the the? I mean, it's the it's a, it's owned by the city, but so is the school, and we'll let the school use the basketball court. You know, if there's a gym class or something, they want to get over here, use the basketball court. It's no problem. It's actually closed for today. But, uh, but it's increased the value of the land in the uh, in the nearby neighborhoods. And look at this. Now we're getting a whole bunch of nice houses plopping up. Uh, large skate park. Holy shit. Oh, look at this. 
My favorite mayor! Everybody loves me! Look! Look, everybody is in love with me because I'm doing such a good job. See? That's how you know you're doing a good job. Because you're getting achievements. The game is a, is rewarding you, awarding you um, achievements uh, for doing such a good job. Fantastic. Okay, we've got a basketball court now. Do we want a volleyball court? I mean, does... I don't know if you guys live in a city that has a volleyball court. I wouldn't have thought that that would be very popular, actually, because... I mean, generally for volleyball, I, I would think that I would need to wear like a bikini and stuff and uh, and get all like covered in sand and everything. It just doesn't seem very practical. Uh, and for that reason, I will not be building a volleyball court. Publis, uh, publis? Public tennis court, however, is something I've seen in real life before. And uh, especially at, at a busy intersection in the suburbs. Uh, well, no, not really, but... Uh, in this case, that's where it's going to go. Here we go. The first public tennis court of Sip City is now open for business. Or, well, closed because it's like 10 at night. But tomorrow morning, you can just turn up with your racket and just start pelting the shit out of each other uh, with, with tennis balls. It'd be great. Okay, so that should get us some more medium wealth residents living in their nice houses. Look at these nice houses. Actually, this neighborhood is really shaping up now. It's taking a little while, but it's shaping up. What's this? What's this guy talking about? Money. The downturn in the economy has hit our city. Do something. What downturn? We're doing really well. I'll do it. Let's see what it says. Provide more jobs. Provide more housing. Oh, okay. I see. Building density. No. Uh... Do you want to learn how to increase building density? Yeah, I do actually. I don't even know what that is. I don't know how it works. Okay, open the zones menu. Okay, look at this tutorial. I'm doing it. Tell me, how do I do it? Uh, shows the density of the buildings in your city. O open the building density map. Okay, where is it? I'm trying to open it. I'm oh, there it is. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, I see. The bars on each building in this view show the building's expansion progress. Buildings ready to expand will have a green bar. Okay. Buildings won't be able to expand their destiny uh, destiny density if the roads they are built along can't support it. Open the roads menu. Okay. I knew all that. All right. So far, so good. Different streets support uh, the three building densities, but with four or six lanes, the wider avenues can support more traffic. Okay. I knew that too. Uh, you can upgrade roads after drawing them, but you cannot upgrade streets to avenues. Oh, okay. Close the building density map. Be sure to use the right roads for... Okay, I knew about all that, but what... When do they decide that they want to become more dense, though? I, what, what are the factors? It didn't tell me. Maybe there are none. Maybe it's just the... Maybe you just gotta play the waiting game. Maybe that's it. That's the name of the game. The waiting game. God damn it. The worst game. I don't know about you guys, but that's the worst game for me. Okay. If it just had another delivery of oil. Oh, look at that. We're going to make some money in a minute. Great. Uh, there's a fire somewhere. There's a fire burning out of control somewhere that I've somehow managed. Oh, shit. Somebody's bungle. No, somebody's trailer has caught fire. It's probably like some sort of cooking fire or whatever. That's usually a fairly bad sign uh, and means that we... Oh, shit. Is there a fire here? Oh yeah, there is. There's a fire brewing there. Okay, we're gonna have to get our first fire station. 400 bucks an hour, 20,000 bucks initial plop down. Totally worth it and totally manageable at the moment as well. We're going to put this uh, back here somewhere by the dump. We're gonna put it by the dump. There we go, it's by the dump. It doesn't need to be anywhere. It just needs to be uh, sort of accessible. It doesn't really need to be by people's houses or anything like that, because the coverage is, is citywide anyway. You can uh, you can edit it and add more trucks and stuff. We got one truck, and that should be enough for now. That should at least be enough to uh, to quell this raging inferno down here. My God, look at this! Nobody seems to really care too much, though. It's just just business as usual. There's just like a massive fire spewing out the back of this guy's Mr. Ortiz's residence. Oh no, there's a fire. Yep. It's it's really burn. Oh my god! <laughs> There's another one! <laughs> oh no! No, it's the tutorial house from The Sims 3! On fire! Somebody should have made an autumn salad instead of trying to cook macaroni for the first time. Oh my god, the whole city is on fire. Okay, the whole city is actually burning down now. We're gonna need that fire truck ASAP. No! That, leave that one, it's gone! <laughs> There's nothing left of it, it's just completely ablaze! 
Just try to concentrate on Mr. Ortiz. Mr. Ortiz's residence is burning down. You could have saved him. Or maybe the Sour residence from The Sims 3. But no, you've decided to go to this commercial. Oh no, they're, they're even going on the wrong one. Look at this. They're just going buck wild on the one next door because this one's just a complete write-off. Oh, uh, this isn't too bad, actually. I mean, a couple of fires. It's gonna happen. Oh, shit. Is that like a... Mr. Ortiz has contaminated the neighborhood. Look at this. The fire spread. Look, it's spewing out the back of the Murray household. No. No. Save the Murrays. Oh, my God. Fire trucks. Hurry. Uh, we're gonna have to get another fire truck, I think. God damn it. I didn't want to have to add another one so soon. Uh, we can also increase the, in the response time. Look at this. Fire trucks are dispatched twice as fast with this cool bell on top. Let's do it. We want this fire truck right out here. Come on. Come on. Speed of light. Wee 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 wee. No, it's taking them forever. Oh, what's that? No, that's not a fire truck. Oh, here it comes. Oh shit. Yeah, here we go. Action stations, men. Wee. Where where's he going? Oh, okay. He's coming to He's disappeared. We've got two fire trucks now on the scene of uh, Retire Automotive. <clears throat> hey, is that a fire? Not anymore, because there's a billion firefighters here. Uh, meanwhile, residences are burning down and uh, infrastructure is being crippled. Okay, so it looks like these guys are just going to get caught in a loop on the avenue and then finally make their way to... Well, Mr. Mr. Ortiz is dead. Uh, and the fire trucks can't park on the other side of the road. No, they have to go make the full loop and try to extinguish this blaze at the Murray household? God damn it. What's going on over here? The Woodrow residence? Okay, it looks like the Sims 3 tutorial building is completely burnt down. God, this is this is pretty bad. I think our health service is going to be stretched. Oh no, there's only two patients being treated. I guess that's because all these people are just perishing in these fires. Oh look, there's another one here too. God, the fire spread like crazy. Um, once you've had a fire on a building, uh, you, you need to see these abandoned buildings and rubble. You actually need to clear these out so that they can, uh, they can rebuild uh, from the ashes, like the Phoenix. So this one here, abandoned building, abandoned because of that fire. Just gonna knock it down. Look at that. Knock it over. And uh, something else will pop up there in its stead, which is very good. Same with this one, Mr. Ortiz. Rip in peace, you magnificent son of a bitch. We only knew you for a short time. Now you're dead, and your trailer has burnt down to the ground. Um, this is the old Murray household, abandoned because of fire. I'm gonna knock that shit down too. Sims 3 tutorial house, Sayonara, and uh, and the Woodrow residence. Once it uh, once it finally burns out and kills everybody inside, we will knock down as well. Uh, and that'll be the last one, hopefully. Now that we've got fire coverage. Good fire coverage. Oh, look, we got another one here. The abandoned building. I don't even. Oh, is this the Woodrow House? I'm trying to remember the names. I'm trying to be a good mayor. Don't know if I'm a good mayor though, because I let a whole bunch of people die in the great, the great suburb blaze of what's the year? July, year one. <laughs> oh, God, what a sad summer. The summer of sadness. That's what we can dub it. The summer of sadness. Because so many people lost their lives to house fires. Because we didn't bother to build a fire station until it was too late. Oh, and even that in that tire shop, Retire Automotive. God, what a loss. I, I don't know how the city's going to recover. Okay, so this one's been abandoned now. Knock it down. And that's it. That's it for the fires. Good grief. That was early on. I've never had so much trouble with uh, with fires. I, I gotta say, that was the uh, that was the first time. Oh shit! Look at this factory's on fire too. My God, it's just like a scorching hot summer. Jesus, we can't get any respite here from this. Oh shit! Look at this, Slacker Rope Co. Is this the same big industrial? Oh yeah, it is. Needs workers. Okay, we should probably think about getting. My God, look at the demand. Oh, got to multitask a lot in this game. Okay, let's get some more uh, residential set up quickly uh, and then we can probably finish there for now uh, and we'll come back uh, next time and do some other shit it's gonna be great okay let's try to get this as close to school as we can that should do the trick uh, it's gonna no please there we go that'll do and we can try to connect this up like this 
It's not gonna do it though. It's probably not gonna work. Is that gonna work? Eh, that's kinda worked. No, look, it's not connected. They're gonna have to do this jump. They're gonna have to do like a jump over the top here. Let's try to get this connected. Is that gonna work? No, it's too close. Oh! No! No, it didn't work. Oh, that's a shame. We're gonna have to bulldoze this. Look, I broke the game already. It's already broken. There we go. Maybe we can put like a roundabout there. Oh, that'd be nice actually. Let's put a little roundabout. Here we go. Circle. Let's draw it from the... Uh... <laughs> this is already going very, very well, as you can tell. Uh, let's try this. No. It's not going to fully... Oh god, this is... This isn't gonna work. <laughs> Just scratch that. Okay, let's try to now connect. There we go. And... Okay, fine. It's like on a little bit of a slant. It's because of the school. God damn the school. Alright. Residential. Residential. Let's get some more residential all along the back here too. There we go. That should... That should make us some more money as well actually. Uh, that'll be good. You'll get us some more people, some more workers, so that some people can work at Sla Slacker Rope Co. That'd be nice. And uh, and more money hourly for us, uh, which means more money in the bank uh, so that we can build more oil wells. Okay, well, that was eventful. It went from being fairly uneventful to being super eventful with, like, a ton of fires. Good God. Um, as usual, thanks for watching, and... Uh, Stay tuned for the next one where we'll uh, expand out this oil well even more, continue building, hopefully get the upgrade to Town Hall. Oh god, we still got 521 people. We're not growing very quickly. We're going to have to get some uh, medium density um, houses so that we can pack in the residents, fill all these jobs and stuff. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time.